Hello, Group 3, Team Life. This is Gustavo Perdomo from Bogota, Colombia. And I wanted to make this short video in order to show you a little bit about an interesting topic of misleading graphs in, in scientific papers. I think it's a very important issue to, to possibly address this topic because uh, sometimes uh, graphs are very uh, easy to manipulate in order to show or to to the reader interpret uh, some uh, different uh, uh, things about the same data. So I have done a small research that I want to, to show you. About uh, the, the form of the manner of, of uh, manipulate the data, we have uh, an, a form that is from axis and scaling manipulation. Other is other common uh, form of doing that is a missing data. Other is manipulate the sizing of the of the graphs of the bars that are, that is very common. And the other one is the incorrect use of the graphs because sometimes we uh, choose a graph that is not correctly or adequate to show that kind of data or that kind of behavior of the of the results. So here we have the first one. Uh, as you can see, there are very different uh, percentages in this in this uh, graphic. But if you if you uh, uh, see the 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 parts of this of this circle is almost equal, and the percentages are quite different. This is very very a very uh, big uh, percentage according to the other two. So this is a manner uh, to to uh, manipulate. The, this graph. Another uh, common manipulate to manipulate the, uh, graphs is the size. For example, you can see you can see uh, this both of graphs, and you can see that this graph is wider than than the, this bar is wider than the than this one. So uh, even when they are like and the same height. So uh, if you see this graph, you can see oh there is like a a very, a, a very strong results uh, comparing to this one. So this is another form of, of manipulating it. Here, uh, I have two graphs, one with uh, the standard error and one with the uh, standard deviation according to the, the, this, this line, this green line over the bars. And uh, it's, it's a form where you can see that, for example, here the line is, is shorter than comparing to this one. And uh, uh, with this graph, you can see, oh, there is no like very uh, variation of the data, but we are talking about the standard error, not a standard deviation. And it's a form that if the reader is not quite carefully reading, uh, it's going to uh, uh, have a misinterpretation of the data. And here we have uh, uh, three bars that, uh, for example, is the behavior of a, or of or a result uh, according to time. And the difference between bars is not quite uh, important as, as, a, as a first view. And this one is the same bar, but with uh, uh, only lines. And you can see that there is a, a big uh, increase in the data according to this bar. That this, this difference is not equally visual to this one and uh, it's, it, it may lead to, to a misinterpretation of the results. So guys, uh, uh, with this short video I want to, to, uh, you to be re very carefully about uh, reading uh, graphs or uh, reading data in the graphs in order to uh, really get an adequate uh, interpretation of the results of the study that we are trying to assess. Thank you so much for our attention. Bye.